Good afternoon, and welcome everybody to Church of Our Savior. I'm Fletcher Harper, the pastor here. Um, and on behalf of our congregation, I'd like to welcome you um, and thank you for joining us on a day when it's um, wonderful to be together um, and sad to reflect on why we're together um, in the midst of a world that very often now seems like it's spiraling out of control. Um, but we're here to bear witness to that and to watch for God and to bear witness to our belief that God is real and that God is at work and that we're God's hands in the midst of that. We'll have a series of readings here today. I think everybody's got a booklet. Um, so let's take just a moment in the silence to collect ourselves and to settle ourselves and then we'll continue. Jesus came with his disciples to a country place called Gethsemane. And he said to them, sit down here while I go yonder and pray. Then he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and he began to be saddened and exceedingly troubled. He said to them, my soul is sad even unto death. Wait here and watch with me. He went forward a little, and falling flat on the ground, he prayed saying, Father, if it's possible, let this cup pass away from me. Yet not as I will, but as you will. Almighty and eternal God, accept our prayer of thanksgiving for your beloved Son, our Savior and Lord. As we recall his sacred passion, we beg you, send the Spirit of Christ into our hearts, so that whether we pray or work, we might do all in union with Christ our Redeemer. Amen. The first station. Jesus is condemned to death. We welcome you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have had the in the world. Again, the high priest began to ask him and said to him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? And Jesus said to him, I am, and you shall see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. But the high priest tore his garments and said, What further need have we of witness? You have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? And they all condemned him as liable to death. The kings of the earth rise up, and the princes conspire together against the Lord and against his anointed. I will proclaim the decree of the Lord. The Lord said to me, You are my son. This day I have the God of you. Ask of me, and I will give you the nations for inheritance, and the ends of the earth for your possession. Let us pray. O powerful and eternal God, for proclaiming the truth of your Son, Jesus Christ, is condemned to death by crucifixion. Stir up your love in our hearts so that we might be ever faithful to all that you have told us and fear nothing more than the loss of your friendship through sin. Amen. Amen. At the cross of station keeping stood the mournful mother weeping close to Jesus at the the second station, Jesus carries his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have our being for our world. And Pilate said to the Jews, Behold your king. But they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then he handed him over to be crucified. And so they took Jesus and led him away, bearing the cross for himself. Who would believe from what we have heard? To whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up like a sapling before him, like a shoot from a parched earth. There was in him no state bearing to make us look at him, no appearance that would attract us to him. 
He was rejected and avoided by men, a man suffering, accustomed to infirmity, one of those who men men turn away, and he loved him in no small scene. Let us pray. Father in heaven, your Son, Jesus Christ, still carries his cross to his persecuted brothers and sisters throughout the world. Make us feel the needs of all persons, so that we might as readily help them as we would help Jesus himself. Amen. Through her heart is sorrow sharing, all his bitter anguish bearing. Now at length the sword had passed. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. If the world hates you, know that it has hated me before you. If you were of the world, the world would love what it is owed. Because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the word that I have spoken to you. No servant is greater than his master. If they have persecuted me, they will persecute you also. Why are your clothes red and your garments like those of the wine press? <clears throat> the wine press I have trodden alone, and of my people there was no one with me. I trod them in my anger and trampled them down by my wrath. Their blood spurted on my garments, and I stained all my clothes. I looked about, but there was no one to help me. I was a flaw that there was no one to let us support, <clears throat> so my own arm brought about the victory. Let us pray. O oh God, to free us from sin and weakness, your Son, Jesus Christ, embraced his fearful passion and crucifixion. Strengthen us in our baptismal resolutions, by which we renounce sin and Satan, so that through the passion of this life's sufferings, we might rise to a new life of joyful service, free of all selfishness. Amen. Amen. Jesus met his grieving mother, she who bore the Lord our brother. Now the sword her heart has pierced. The fourth station, Jesus meets his afflicted mother. Lord, we adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have been the world. Now that we're standing by the course of Jesus, his mother, and his mother's sister, Mary of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus, therefore, saw his mother and the disciples standing by, whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. So to what can I compare you, O Lord of Jerusalem? What example can I show you for your comfort, virgin daughter Sodom? For as great as the sea is your distress, who can heal you? Let us pray. O blessed Lord, at your passion, a sword of sorrow pierced the living heart of your mother, as seeing him foretold. Grant that we who look back on her sorrows with compassion might receive the healing fruits of your sufferings. Amen. <clears throat> oh, how sad and sore distressed was that mother highly blessed of the soul begotten one.
carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. That's by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And when they had mocked Jesus, they took the purple cloak off and put his own clothes on him, and they led him out to be crucified. Then they forced a certain passerby, Simon of Cyrene, coming from the country, to take up his cross. They brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, a name meaning at the place of the skull. With a loud voice, I cry out to the Lord. With a loud voice, I beseech the Lord. I complain, I pour out the word. Before him, I lay bare my distress. When my spirit is faint within me, you know my heart. In the way along which I walk, they have had a trap. Like a lamb that takes slaughter, or a sheep before the shears, 
main station, Jesus is driven this glory. The Lord will Christ and the creation. Because by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. The gate Jesus wine and drink makes it fall. But when he placed it, he would not drink. Then after they had crucified him, they divided his clothes, casting lots to fulfill what was spoken to the prophet. They divided my clothes among them, and upon my garments they cast lots. Have that peace the one who God chastises. Do not reject that punishment to the Almighty. For he moves when he rides up. He smites when his hands give healing. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I look for comforters, and I have none. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst they may be vinegar to try to drink. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, strip of everything, you stood exposed to the Jews and contempt of the people whom you love. What us with genuine love to others, so that nothing to suffer may ever fill our hearts with hatred or bitterness. Amen. For his people sin chastises, she We adore you, o Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When they came to Golgotha, the place called the Skull, they crucified Jesus and the robbers, one on his right and other on his left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And you have come to be my boss. 
Lives and reigns forever with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. 